Hello everyone! Today, we're going to be going over a new type of red coder. And this design is so simple, I'm frankly surprised that no one else hasn't come up with it yet. Either that, or I just haven't found it while scrolling through the rat's nest known as hex videos. But without further ado, let's get on to the day's topic. The too wide red coder. So what is a red coder, you may ask? Well, essentially, a red coder is a way to convert signal strength, also known as redstone hexadecimal, and outputs it in a base one slash mono output. Now, this may confuse you, but it's not really that hard to understand. Let's take a look at a quick example. This is a red coder designed by Mayazuma Games. If I input a 3 here, you will see that the third output lights up. And if I input a 1, you'll see that that first output lights up. This works all the way up to 15, which is the highest possible value for redstone hex to produce. So that essentially is what a red coder is and how it works. Now what makes my design different from this one is the space between the outputs. As you can see in my Zuma's design, there are two blocks between each output, making this three wide. If we wanted to use speed and compactness, we could use, say, this model. Now, if you look, there are no spaces between the torches, so this makes it a one wide red coder. And as you can see, when I input different values, the different output lights up. Now, the benefit to using this model is that it only takes three ticks to decode. Whereas using my Azuma's model, it could take up to 16 just because of how there's a tick of delay with each unit. Now let's say we want to make a pixel display. And let's say we want this pixel display to display to show an X chord and Y chord for a pixel. Well, we could use this model, but as you can see, there's a gap between each pixel. So this works to an extent, but if we really want all the pixels to be merge together and have a nice looking display, this design doesn't really work well for us. We could use this model, but unless we're working with one by one pixels, it also wouldn't work well because we would have to figure out a way to expand the lines so that they're each one block between each X value or Y value. But what if there was a way we could match an output of a red coder directly to a pixel? Well, think no more. Introducing the two wide red coder. As you can see, if we input any hex value into this right here, it automatically adjusts to the output. Now we can attach this to a display along with a decoder for the Y axis, and then we have a display that is slim and efficient. How you build this decoder is pretty simple. It's Java and Bedrock compatible. So let's start by building our input. So we're going to place a comparator right here. So this will be our input no matter what. Then we will place a block like so. Now we'll place a piece of redstone dust on the bottom and on top. Don't worry about it looking like this because our next step is to place a block right here. So now as you can see, we've separated the two and then we'll go ahead and place a redstone dust here. Now what this does is this subtracts one from this dust right here. So for example, if we input, say, a 15 right here, this is set to 14. I know it's hard to tell, but trust me, because it goes 15, 14. If we go for this one, it's 13, 12, 11, 10, and so forth, down to zero. Now we can place a repeater here, along with a block with a torch on it. Now we can place a block here, and then place a torch either here on this side, or here on top of it. It really doesn't matter as they both work the same. It's just down to your personal preference. The next step is to cover this and place a repeater. Now, side note, if you're using the Bedrock version of the game and not the Java, you'll need to set the repeater to two ticks and not one tick. Otherwise, you will one tick the torch, which can be pretty bad. Trust me, I know from experience. Once we are done with that, it's time to build what allows this to be two wide and not one wide or three wide. Now, we can't just place a piece of dust here because then we just lose some functionality. So, for example, if we were to input a 15 right here, this would be 14. But if we want, say, this to be registered as 14, that won't work because this is being registered 14. Well, a case in point, we can place a comparator. That also won't work because now our model is three wide. So instead of just placing a piece of redstone dust here, we're going to be placing 
a redstone comparator. Now, just because you might be thinking that because if we place it like this, they're all going to be output the same thing. And that's true. But this is where the, this is where it gets important. We're going to set this to subtraction mode and then place another comparator facing into the side of this comparator. Now we'll place any storage device, so this could be a chest, a shulker box, anything. I'm just using a barrel for personal preference. And we will give it an input of one. Now, this subtracts one from the input. So for example, if we were to give this comparator a value of one, you can see that we have a value of one here and no value here. If we were to give it, say, another value of, say, two, you can see that we now have a two here, a one here, so this torch turns off, and a one right here. Now, if we build a device like this, you can see that this torch turns on. Now, we also have to do this for the top comparator. So as you can see, we can place a comparator here, turn it to subtraction mode, and then place a comparator. Then we can place any storage device and give it a value of one to subtract our input. As you can see, this is now outputting a two. If we put this and take it back to one, you will see that the one's being outputted, and then it gets incremented into two. Back this up to 15, and you have yourself the red coder. Now, a note for this 15 value, you don't need to have the subtraction right here because redstone will never reach a value greater than 15 unless you're using some like commands. Or and there you go, a two wide red coder. If you want to learn how to implement a red coder into your redstone computer, then click on this video and I'll see you there.